All right, so this game, I'm always going to write down early game, mid game, fighting, just regular notes. And then um, we have what to improve on. Okay, so first thing I'm looking at is, is you have a Belveth game. Okay, into what other champs? Diana, Akali. So, right, so you, 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 you should have already all this process. Sorry, I'm here looking yep. at it later. So, um, let's see. So, you have this, right? This is the first thing I'm noticing versus this champ, which is like really weird. Okay, then you have Ignite into um, TP. So, that's the first thing. Before I'm even looking at champions, that's what I'm looking at. And then plus runes. Right? Yep. So, I'll tell you my thought process. Okay, now I look at champions. Sorry, also this rune right here. Now I look at champions, now I see this, Renekton into Orn. so what do you think is going to happen top lane? Uh, I think Orn probably does win against Renekton, but the thing is, I feel like I shouldn't gank top because even if I give Renekton a couple of kills, Orn is still useful, so like it doesn't change the game state anyway. Um, and, and also like mid, like lose is super losing lane, because Akali just shits on Swain even after 6, like she just wins the whole way anyway. Um, so level one, 1 through 3, you think Akali shits on Swain? Uh, yes. Because I feel like she just, like, like, she no, can... It's, it's fine, it's fine. I'm, I, I'm gonna go quickly with this so we can see. Okay, bot lane. Okay. Just go quickly. Uh, bot lane is probably even. Um, because, like, it's two range champs, but, uh, Pike, as soon as Pike lands a hook, it's just over, game over for them. So I feel like it's even or winning for okay. my bot lane. Let's look. Okay, so mid lane is doing, you know, he's doing alright. He's not trading. He's not losing too much HP. He's not, I mean, dying, right? Yeah. He, he has like he, kind of even wave state. Your top lane actually does have prior. Okay, and then your bot lane does have prior. Okay. Yeah. But your mid laner is getting hit by literally every single ability, so he's losing. Okay. So the thing about a the thing about a ranged matchup into a collie like this is on the first wave, if your if your ranged character can get um, you know, can actually hit the wave, which Swain can, Swain will have wave control. All right. This guy did not. I don't know what he did, right? But in theory, um, a Kali level one is very, very weak. And as long as you can space the, um, you know, the uh, the Kali abilities, you're mm -hmm. going to have prior. But regardless of that, right. it's good. You came into the game, you have an idea of what's going on, and you, you know, boss even, you know, boss kind of be going to slice. You don't want to go top. Perfect. So now we're passing falling. Okay. I like everything you told me um, when getting to this point. Okay. So. Let's see what goes on here. So right now, watching lanes, perfect. So you see waves, you see HPs. So right here, let's see if you see HPs actually. So using F keys, did not see their HPs. Okay. Yep. Right. So you're you're, you're lacking on the information gathering, right? Right. Um, if they're like pushed up that far in a tower, tower or anything, I feel like uh, like this checking HP like at that point, like really like uh, yeah, there's like... no exception. Doesn't matter. Because okay. what's gonna happen in the next thirty seconds to that wave? It's gonna come bounce back, yeah, assuming you that. You wanna know what their HP is now. Like, why, why don't, why not? Pretty much, you have nothing better to do. Right. It's literally just or... you're lazy, right? Or not? I don't know. I don't know the yeah. Reason, but like, you, you, you're only using your F keys here. Use your mouse to check. Okay. Right. Because even now, like, I wanted to know because it's not necessarily that the wave is going to be crashing right now. If Ezreal and Kaylin all of a sudden change the way the wave goes, which they can, right? I want to know. I need to know what their HP is to see if I can gank or not. Right. Okay, so never assume that, like, I mean, any of it, really. Okay. Okay. So here, um, so even now, like, I want to know what their HP is, because what happens when a wave crashes? Next 30 seconds to a minute, what's going to go on with the wave? It's going to come back. Yeah, and that gives you a timer to either gank, to counter gank, to do something, to go into the bushes, and interact. Right? But we don't know what their HP is. Yeah. So we don't know how good it is. Okay, there we go. Now we find look. This is great, right? We just wanted you to do this a whole minute ago, so you could plan a whole minute in advance. Yep. And ch conditions can always change. It's solo queue. Um, conditions can always, always change. Get the full clear off. Get the reset. Perfect. Uh, one thing you can I do is you can drop a ward right, right here. You can recall like a little bit further up, so you can drop this ward here or drop a ward here. Um, okay. Just because, uh, just because you have full information on this guy going anywhere through the river. I think I sit in the bush here and kind of, because I think Diana's, I think Diana's going to gank, but I don't want to like lose tempo because like the camp is spawning. So I just okay. recall here so, and if she ganks, I'm just okay with it. So I guess. do you win 2v2 if Diana ganks? Uh, I don't think so, but I feel like my thought process here is just to, because Swain is near tower. I feel like if I show up, he can at least live as long as I land a W. Right, I mean, 
mean, you, you pretty much answered the question, though. Your swing's near tower. How? Why is Tyon ever ganking this guy? Uh, so the gank does actually happen, and he does die. I feel like, it's because like you know hindsight twenty twenty. But okay, so that that that's 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 okay. So okay, that's why I asked two v two, right? If the right. mana comes, you're fighting for this wave. Can you win the two v two? No. Okay, so you being here does nothing. Right. Right. Okay. So you lose time yeah. here. And and the reason why is because so and this is exact moment, if the wave crashes and Swain is under turret, then he's actually under turret. So he's not actually under the turret right now, because what's right. gonna happen yeah. is the next wave is gonna come, right? And then he's gonna try and shove this wave out. So if you wanted to do anything here, right? I don't think it's that good, but you come and you crash this wave with your Swain. Okay. Right. But what's happening right now is there's not gonna win the two v two. So realistically, I wouldn't go crash the wave because you're not gonna win it. And then two. Your Swain's not under turret at all, right? Because okay. he has this wave he's going to need to push eventually, right? He's going to walk up to try and last hit these cast minions. That's what he's playing for. So he's not under turret catching his wave. Mm, okay, gotcha. I didn't... If you want to do anything here, I'm spamming the shit out of my Swain because I we're not winning this fucking 2v2. Not when we lost this hard, but he does have TP advantage over the opponent. Mm. So this guy yeah. can just recall on TP. And he fucked up, but at least he doesn't kill himself. So what I'm doing here is I'm danger pinging Diana, bro. This guy has no idea Diana's there. You don't ping him a single time. He's playing. He's been playing his lane the whole time. He's been trading the entire game. He has no idea he's there. You pinged him earlier here and you saw him. But right now in yeah. this exact moment, Swain has no idea what he's doing. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So ping him. And it's it's so obvious. Like now we're looking at the vault. You're playing jungle. Obviously, you know this guy's here. If you've played lane, it's not that easy. Yep. So always use your pings to to communicate with your laners it's hard to lane plus track jump okay so i'm da i'm danger pinging this guy i'm pinging this guy's teleport and pinging this guy to recall some some variation of that okay uh on the helping him push like that being an option thing i have i do have a question uh, yeah. so like when like I don't. I'm not sure like how impactful it is for me to like share XP like for that one wave because like th does that like is it like really important or is it like just like whatever like is it? It's, it's important because instead of your Swain being jailed in his lane, Swain gets a free recall. Right. So Swain's right, lane but... is fucked. Right. His lane is fucked. Okay. So right, if he doesn't that... have teleport, he you won't be able to play with your mid laner for the next like two minutes. Is what this means. Or he'll right. lose a wave anyway. When he recalls, the Akali will crash a wave, and he'll lose a wave anyway. Or, what's going to happen is, Akali crashes a wave, he's catching the wave, he catches the wave second, so Akali's already reset, and when he comes back to lane, he has no tempo at all. So, it is helpful to Swain, because Swain gets a full recall, right? And then he can actually play the game. But he has teleport, so he should just teleport, and you should ping to, for him to teleport. Okay, gotcha. Um... But in situations like this, where it's like, let's say, like my Swain has does not have teleport, and it's like it's not even a Swain, it's like a Yone or something, like with Ignite, uh, and like they're they're both like fighting. If he's like really low HP, and then like the enemy laner is like we we lose two v two, and like the enemy laner is also like just stronger than him, like do I just let him lose and just like have him like you know feel bad, or do I like help him like go and help him shove the wave to like it just, mitigate? I mean, it's it's the feels bad syndrome, but like. Like let you, you can okay so one if you you're confident that your champion can two v two uh, Bella is pretty fucking good inside Diana I'd say um and you have like a Yone or like you know some champion that can have some impact like this guy at this mana has like zero impact so it's actually gonna be a one v two like this guy's no impact okay the only thing he's gonna be is a body so he's gonna take spells right if it's a champion that can have some like literally any you could probably one v two these guys and work him okay. But in another another entire world, if you just take your tempo all the way back here way earlier, right, um, and just play the map, what's going to happen is you're going to have, like, so much tempo that you can just run and take his raptors, run back to your raptors, and then that's your advantage. Mm, okay. Right, because, because Diana's going to spend extra time ganking mid, and she's going to come here. By the time she's on Gromp, you're on Wolves. By the time she's on Wolves, you're on Gromp, and you can maybe, like, even chunk her when she walks through. Yeah. That makes sense. And then after the wall, after your raptors, you go back to your raptor. Right. But it's like if it's like really impossible to win, then yeah, you, you can't do anything. So why do something, right? Like like just if there's nothing to do, there's nothing to do. Like like you, you can't force a miracle to happen. It's not. It's worse yeah. to try and force a miracle. No, I get it. It's just like a lot of these games that I play. I feel like I'm I'm making the right decision and not helping them, but like they kind of just run it down after because their mental is bad, and it's like. I, I just think like maybe I should have like 
like thought about like the player psychology and just like at least showed up showed face a little bit so he doesn't like just straight run the game because like if he like usually like if i don't help him at all like they just don't try to win anymore which you know yeah but you have like three other teammates trying to win so like if you can find any good play like if you playing the game pretty much with your teammates that are actually trying to win you'll find better plays than helping the inting teammates mental okay so, gotcha. um, the other thing is, like, you were not doing the right thing here, right? You were right here recalling, but you delaying your reset by an extra, um, almost 20 seconds is actually worse because on this top wave right here, you would be pretty, pretty close to it. And when reacting TV's backs and holding the wave on Orn, you would actually have oh, a full timer yeah. to, to help your weak side and then go back to Gromp right after. Right, but in this case, you literally only can do Grump. So, and actually, it actually is not the right play. Okay. Right, That's like, look at look at that orange. Now orange a free fucking kill, free fucking flash, and it's not yeah. the fact that you want to do anything top lane. It's the fact that you have downtime, right? Because your Grump is going to be 40 seconds from spawn, so you have an extra like about 15 seconds before this camp spawns. Which 15 seconds getting a flash, getting a kill, is actually very very valuable. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about the wave. I was just thinking about the, like, am I going to make it on time if I just walk here and then recall? Right. No, it's fine. Okay, gotcha. That's fair. So here, like, you are even interested in looking at top lane, but your, your timer top lane is, like, bad. <laughs> because yeah. now you're delaying your gromp even further, okay? And whatever's going on top lane, like, like you mentioned earlier, you don't want to do anything top lane. So what you need to do to keep tempo high is, like, why aren't you on your camp, pretty much? Right. <laughs> You need to just be doing your camp and keeping your tempo high. So whenever you have a tempo advantage, keep it. Do not do not waste your time with. Okay, because for your next sequence down to the bot side, you have bigger tempo than Diana, which means you're gonna have a good opportunity to make a play while she can't, pretty much. Okay. So right here, I drag the camp out and yeah, just kind of good. cover this, this point. If a colony yeah. comes, you're here. One thing yeah. that's less good is, I don't know if you actually need to use your W ever on the Raptors. I've seen Belvets not use it. So your W is like a 15 second cooldown, right? And I think yeah, I, four Qs kills everything. So don't use your W. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I have not watched like a single video on how to clear properly with this champion. I just kind of like wing it. Yeah, I mean, uh, even, even like, even if you watch like a pro game, not in a pro game, but like, even if you watch like a higher rank player play also the smite here was kind of random Control. yep i it reset and i just i was just like i'm not dealing with this yeah normally i mean nowadays your smite, smite is so valuable so just save smite yeah now now if you want to pull dragon you don't have smite it's actually really really bad so he he dies here and then like uh she's level six and i kind of like i think like his lane is just fucked but yeah yeah, I mean it is. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing you can do, right? Like the guy, he's. It's not the only thing you can do earlier was just ping him when the Diana was coming. Okay. So for the most part, everything I'm seeing is pretty, pretty, pretty normal. Um. Orn is getting fucking. To killing the connected one shot. Okay. And yeah. Diana has a timer ball in. Okay, so. You ping here, which is fine, which is good. Okay, and then the so as soon as I see it, I bolt into yeah. Harold because yeah. so it's you should, bolt, you should bolt it to Harold right here, right? But the, moment, the moment you know she's bot side, you should not bolt it to Harold, but you should bolt it to a Raptors at least. Okay. So you, you lose a little bit of time, but you can see how invading as Raptors makes sense, right? Because. Yep. She's she can't make it on time. She, she can't make it on time. Exactly. Yeah, I thought about like full clearing uh, their red side, but I think I'd choose the Rift just because Belveth has like such a unique interaction with her. Yeah, I feel so like it's better. But there's one thing that I'm looking at that's. But on it, like, say if I was Viego this game, do you think like it's better to invade or just take the rift? Because oh, I feel like rift. didn't. Always rift. Always rift. Okay, but like didn't even with like buff up because like I deny like so much HP, uh, XP now because like they get the kill, she comes back and she basically just like realizes she lost 300 gold as well. No, because right you can't fight the rift afterwards. She's gonna lose all that gold, but she's gonna get that rift and rift is 300 gold and like two camps worth of the XP. Okay, gotcha. Because, like, because you can't win 3v3 topside, right? Because the Akali is just god. So any objective you can get in the topside or in the bot side is good because, they're again, their Akali is god. 
So if a college shows okay. up to any of these fights, you're just gonna lose. The big thing here right now, what I'm looking at is do you get <laughs> smacked by the face by this? That's a lot of damage. 213 yep. damage in the face. Right. So if you wanted to invade afterwards or help a lane afterwards, instead of you being at half HP, you'd be like a whole two bars healthier. Mm, so okay. Don't don't get don't get don't get smacked by big hits like like the, like this in the Herald. It's very yeah. Rare. He's charging it. You know he's charging it. Just Q Q through him. Okay. So Kali's coming. Yep. Get the fuck out of here. It's fine. Yeah, right here I hover just because Akali literally just followed me, yeah, so I'm yeah, just I, like, I mean, there's no shot, he doesn't gank this Renekton, and he chooses not to, so, I don't know. Yeah, Renekton is crazy. Yeah. Okay, here's where we fuck up. Okay, so right now, you have only had, you only have one lane that you can play through, pretty much. Um, yep. And it's like, I, actually, like there's like no lane to play through. Um, but your bot lane is going to be the best place, because, well, you're in box ball lane proximity, and you have a pike. Right, so, right now... You have a plasma blast gun. You also have your Qs to go over walls. Okay, and you have mm -hmm. this wave right here. This wave is going okay. to be a fight. Okay, and how do I know that all all ahead of time is because these guys have conditions. So even if the enemy bot lane has tempo, when they come back to lane, they're gonna fight on this wave. Okay, if the if the bot lane is in the wave right now, like in the lane right now, they're gonna be fighting on this wave. Okay, so okay. this is your best time to fight. You just got herald. Okay, you know Diana was just balling, she cleared her camps. She's likely, likely, likely in the top side, clearing top. And you have a time in the bot lane while Diana isn't, so it's going to be a 2v3, even a 3v3 I would be interested in, because right now, um, I'm pretty strong with my, with, with Bel I, I feel I'm pretty strong with Belveth passive, and my ball lane is not like that weak. Pike just hit level 6, even without MF ult, I feel like we can kill the Caitlyn and the Ezreal and the Diana. So instead okay. of doing Krugs here, what I'm doing is I'm blast coning over, okay? And I'm and I'm and I'm waiting here, not showing sure on the not showing sure on the, sure the scuttle crab, right? And then I'm going I'm going over again, and then if they ever walk up, fight for the wave. I'm going down, fighting for the wave with them, right? And then what's gonna happen is if there's a fight, you kill them. If there's no fight, you get prio, and you have opportunity to herald through mid lane or through bot lane, or you unlock Pike on the map so Pike can go help kill this. Um, what was their mid laner? Uh, Kali. Kali, yeah. I mean, Kali's hard to kill, but um, their the Pike would be able to, you know, at least get some wards down, do something. But right now, Pike is getting suffocated, as you can see right here. Um, Pike got a, Pike has wards. Um, yep. Or he had, a, I mean, he has like he, he at least has this he could use with you. Um, yeah. But right now, these guys are back into lane. Plus, this wave is frozen, so the, you you being here is even better because these guys are forced to come through. Yeah, I think it's, <clears throat> uh, I. I'm not sure what happens next. I think I do eventually gank bot lane, but uh, the whole time that the reason why I don't like go immediately is because I feel like right now I'm not sure. I'm not sure like even if I do gank, it's gonna work because like I feel like there isn't like a single world where I catch those two champions because like Caitlyn's just spacing so far away and Ezreal can just e away as well. Um, I feel like I have to like commit like so much resources like just Wait, to get I mean, the you're, W. You're playing Belveth with like three dashes, two dash, like four, four or four dashes. Your W's like really long range. You have flash. Smite and you have I mean, a pike. pike. I hope Pike's not AFK. Okay. Right, like like That's... you can get to these guys. It's not like Caitlyn's from fucking three screens away hitting. Okay, okay. Right, That's like fair. like she's gonna be like her range is like only from here to here. So if this is the minion wave, she's still this far up. Okay. And the last That's thing fair. here is if you were looking at the bot wave, like I I don't have the information because I'm not I, I, I you weren't looking. So if you were looking at this wave, you would you would see that it's actually frozen on your side. When your wave is frozen, what's going to happen is they're going to—they need to walk up to clear the wave, mm. right? When they walk up yep. to clear this wave coming up, you can kill them. So pretty much right now, MF and Pike are freezing the wave. Okay. And if you're there when they're freezing the wave, even now if you—even now if you went, Ezreal and Kaelin are just dead. And you're okay. right. If this is warded, you can't just walk through. Right. So uh, just uh, leave. So go around. Yeah. And okay. It gives yeah. them a lot less time to react. That's fair. So that's why that's why going around will actually get you the kill here versus um going to try push. Okay. So the wave is still like fucked a bit. Yeah, so so I feel like I, I go like right now and then this happens. So yeah, there's because, a ward because right look at there. The timing, my friend. These guys have no obligation to step up at all right now. One and you also showed on the crap. Just now what you did. 
right? They're not. Do they're I? literally not stepping up. Okay. When they are going to step up is when they go for this wave. Mm, okay. Because they're going to go kill that wave. They can't just do nothing. If they're doing nothing, then they're losing waves. And a wave, is, a wave worth of EXP in gold is one camp. Okay. And plus, your MF what, and Pike are just going to get stronger, so they need to walk up here. So it's not that the play itself is bad, it's your timing is terrible. Right? So when interacting with waves... You need to keep Always. track of the wave and what they are doing in the moment. So in the moment, if they're not walking up, don't show then. You show okay. when you're walking when they're walking up, right? So right now this guy's walking away and you queue over the wall. Yeah. Right. So run one this whole time. I should be looking at their character, looking at their movement to see if something like this is warded. Because right now, if this is warded and they're walking away right away, that tells me okay, probably balling is probably hard. Right, but if they're like jitter clicking, walking back and forth, then okay, that's probably not worded. Right, but this whole time, the point is, you just need to be looking at them to see what they're kind of doing, you know? Okay. So even here, I would wait here for a second because it's very unlikely the dragon pit is worded. I would wait here for a second and see what they're doing. If then they, what's going to happen is if you waited, they actually walked back in, so they have no information on where you are. Right, mm. wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. You're right here, and there's they, they've already walked back forward. So that when this wave comes, they're going to walk in and you can kill them. Mm, okay, and afterwards, got it. you can get Harold bot lane, get three plates, and have a winning play. But okay, one, gotcha. you show here. Right, there's a range right there. You show. You, you dodged it first, then your click was very bad. Yep. Right? And then afterwards, um, after you show, obviously they're fucking this far away. They have nothing to do. Yeah. So obviously they can just leave, yeah. And then when you see right. them leave and not step up for the wave, what's happened is um, you chunk your you, you chunk your whole HP anyway. Your HP bar is like fucked anyway. Last thing is watching the actual fight and being here in the area. Um, if yeah. if I mean I I guess when it's uh, I guess the is missing, so you're, you, that's all you worry about. But uh, okay, yeah, what you do is it's fine. But they still end up getting these kills. In reality, right? And that, that's, that's actually what happens. So these guys are still 100% killable, even though the timing of your play was, like, very bad. Okay? So you still have an opportunity to play with bot lane. They landed, you know, Pike landed your hook and everything. Like, bot lane is playable th twice. So yep. although the scheme is, like, really messed up, you have an opportunity to play through bot lane and still fully win the game. Yep. Oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> You're not happy here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I, at this point, I'm just like, oh, man. Is this, I consider like, the, yeah, I consider the angle here. I feel like I like it, it's better just like flash yeah, over yeah, the wall. I, 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 this is fine. And then you, get, you want the skill really badly for your um, passive boost. Yeah. So right here, I, I kill him. I'm just like, okay, I can just get some money here. It's, yeah. And then Diana comes. And then right here, I just do that. Uh, I would never herald through ever in a million years. Wait, why not? Get your gold, bro. That's, that's pork, right? Yes. Look at who you're trying to play with. Does this accomplish anything with your team? No, but I get like... Do you need the gold to get your item? E no, but... So what's the point of this gold right here? But it's like a free 300 gold. Right, but you're always getting a free 300 gold when you drop Herald. Hmm, okay. So you could drop it literally anywhere else, and when your teammate is with you, if this Diana shows up right here when we're when we're acting this here, this Diana is dying. Right, this Diana is not allowed to live to do this if we're acting this here with you pressuring the Herald. So you'd get even more gold than just 300 gold from from Rift. Yeah, R yeah, Rift is always 300 guaranteed gold. Okay, that being said, it's always 300 guaranteed gold. Rifting here does nothing for you. Okay. And plus you are playing a game, you're playing a team game. You want to interact with your teammates. You never want to make solo plays. Right, so okay. you're being here by yourself, it's no point. Because you're already strong in this game. You have your first item. The Diana doesn't have the first item, I don't think. Let's look at that tap screen real quick. Oh. Yeah, so right now you're going to recall. If Diana catches this top wave, you can, you can clear this wave, that's fine. But it didn't just recall. And if Diana catches this top wave, then you're going to be up so much tempo in the bot side that while Diana's catching top wave, you have you had Herald recall, 
Okay, and you have a f you have three three plates now. You can get bot lane and potential bot kills by holding top and showing yourself like this. You delay your game by a whole minute, so you can't interact with your teammates for a whole minute. For what? For 350 gold. But what does the 350 gold do for you? You already had your item. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. So this gold literally did nothing. You're gonna back with another long sword. Yippee! Oh no, we actually fucking die. Uh no. Oh wait, yeah. Okay, this was actually just a mechanical misplay. I feel like because like there's, I don't think like, I don't think I do actually. Like my whole thought process with Belveth is like, if I have my passive up, like there's, it's impossible for me to like die unless like I fuck up somehow. I mean, you could live. Yeah, I should have like I mean, stood think, like yeah, right think, there over there. I think Akali is just gonna hit ult, ult on you, and you're dead anyway. Let me be fully honest with you, she's just gonna ult you, right? I, in this HP, you have no flash. Yeah, you you've already lost two Qs on Belveth, on Belveth, like. You're gonna die under your turret. I'm sorry, but this Akali is too strong, right? Yeah. The big thing here is like, like you're never touching these camps anyway. So why are we walking down here? Right? Wait, because, I'm not. Yeah. Well, why are you? You have your full mythic. The early game is you're meant to farm till you have your item. Okay. Right. So when you have your item, buy it. That's how you win the next fight with your item. Okay. But wouldn't I want to reset those camp timers to get the to like maintain like the exp gains or whatever like when it resets like and it gets like a higher level because oh. I feel like like my level right now is like if I can like it'll it's good to back right now and get like the get the bork but it's better to just to just clear those two camps get them on cycle and then like and then back go bot and then just keep on doing like the same thing i, I so I'm it's doing. better for your individual game right but it, but for the the whole game it's a hundred percent better to play for tempo and play with your teammates your their flashless ezreal or the flashless caitlin or the, the the pike that has slash the pike that's 2v2 killed them a second ago or in the enemy's bot side. It's so much better to play for that because it's map pressure, and instead of you doing nothing for a whole minute when you have your mythic, or you have your first item, you're proactive on the map for a whole minute, right? That itself has a lot of value, especially if, that, if the Diana is gonna catch this top wave and show like this. If you had recalled right here, right, you can go back, you know, however far you want to just recall. Diana's stuck top side while you're recalled, right? You can go straight to Balian and fight, and if Diana comes out of base and then you fight, now you have your first item, and I think Belveth with first item, you're doesn't matter if this guy's first item or not, you're just gonna destroy him. Right. Right. Yeah. So for your individual game, yeah, sure, bro. For my individual game, yeah, I want fucking all my, I want a full clear every single time on reset, no matter what. I want every single crab. I want every single wave. Yeah, that's good for the game. Does that mean it's good for the game? I don't know. Right. In this game, okay. what's, what's good right now, right, for your game and everyone else's game is if you recall with Herald reset, so you're even faster tempo, and you ran straight to bot lane, so you can play. With these guys, because these guys are your only mm. only angle to win, and these camps don't matter, because the extra 300 gold you're getting, 200 gold you're getting, does what for you? Gives you an extra loss. Yeah. Time. Okay. An extra plate for your for your teammates who are about to hit their mythic or who want to fight, who want to accelerate mm. the game in that way. But MF actually has a, a first item here as well versus Ezreal. That's how you're gonna accelerate the game. That's how you're gonna win the game. Right. Not but this extra the camp. the it kind of I feel like the, like. I'm not really good at like kind of like making that kind of decision because like I, I I know like I do understand like what you're saying but like my thought process right now is just like if I do do that and I make a play bot then like it's it feels like even worse and, like if I if I get nothing there like it feels even worse because I didn't reset my camps because like I put myself here? behind because like, like, how would you how would you not get nothing well if I if I say like I recall right now and I go bot I go like um like I I Q and like do two dashes. I W like both Caitlyn and Ezreal, and let's say like Pike misses a hook, and then and then like we lose the fight. And now like I basically cleared no camps for like the last like minute and a half, basically. Okay, if you're losing the fight when you have first item, then again it's the timing that went wrong. It's what you're playing for that went wrong, right? You should never lose the fight. Okay, you can at least chunk them to half, and even if they live, guess what? You're heralding bot, and now instead of you getting 350 gold for yourself, you're getting gold for your entire team. You're being able to pressure the bot so that you can actually break, right? But realistically, no, you're always getting something bot lane. Not the kills, you're getting the, the, the pressure on the turret. And if they're able to smack the turret for free, you're able to get your passive on the wave, your, 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 your herald, pa or your, um, what is it, rift passive on the wave. Okay, so you're stacking a fucking full wave on these guys, 
and then you're dropping rift and you're getting three plates or more. So you're always finding a guaranteed play. The time where you don't find guaranteed plays is when you like walk through wards in the in the river or you make plays that are too fast like you did earlier. That's when you mm, wouldn't find okay. guaranteed plays. Gotcha. Okay. And even if you had gold here and you did want to cycle camps, recall first, then cycle your camps. Okay. And then just clo yeah. and then just clear down to bot because let's say there's a top fight going on, right? Like, or Orn TB's back and Diana wants to go top lane because she's in the top side and Rekton's here and he's fighting, he's fighting two v one now. Instead, you'd be on your your Gromp and you'd be able to still interact with this top fight, and you would 100% win it because you have your Bork. So it gives you the option of still being able to play the map versus now after let's say let's say you do the rift, okay? Now now let's say um, ignore a call here. Now let's say you go do Gromp. You go to wolves. What are you gonna have to do after Gromp and wolves? Recall and then yeah, do and that, raptors. That's delaying cut. the game by how long? Where you could have reset all the way back at 11:05, 11, 11, 11, let's say 11:10, latest, latest recall because Diana like comes to cancel. You recall mm. at 11:10, okay? Versus now, if you went down to clear Gromp and wolves, you would recall at 12 minutes, right? And you've lost 30 seconds on the map. Okay. When you're at, when you yourself are ahead. And let's say there really is no play, no no play bot lane. That's fine. Just full clear down. But if there is a play, you have your item, so you can go. But now after you're gone wolves, if you cleared it, you feel like obligated. You kind of you kind of are obligated to just recall. So let's say you're slain somehow managed to win the trade. Like it's solo queue. I call I could fuck up. Okay. You still need to recall after wolves. You don't want to go and help your slain because you need to recall. But if you had recalled right. earlier, and then you're doing your Gromp and Wolves, and something good happens mid, something good happens top, something that's anywhere, you have an opportunity to, um, you know, drop off the camps and go help. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. The biggest thing here, though, is when you have your first item, after a good kill like this, and you clear the wave, play for tempo and play with your winning lane. The game is not, it's, you're not playing a game by yourself. It's a team game. Gotcha. Okay. Team game to not take things by yourself. It's the same. Okay. And this is just whatever. It's not great. Let's see, like they, they end up, they end up actually inting even further. Um, yep. and look, look at your bot lane, bro. You think, you think there's no play yeah. here? What the fuck? I mean, <laughs> okay, I. Diving these guys, like it's yeah. always going to be a play there. Okay, that's fair. If you fair. have Borg, you can it's, fucking three v three dive I, these guys. There, but no, 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 there's. It's just I feel like I've just been burned by solo queue so many times. Like there's like so many matches where it's like there's no way they fucking lose it, and they lose it. So and like so it's like playing around like other players is like always. It always feels like a little bit scary to me because just like if they do, if I do like make that decision and I go on, and go with them, and if they do lose, then it's like. Like not only not only like 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 as a put me behind like like actually like like objectively puts me behind because like I'm, I'm I'm like I have less gold. It also just like makes me like tilted a little bit, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I fully understand like what you're saying though. It's yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's fair to say like there are times when your teammates will lose, but your bot lane has not been losing this whole game. So you can't, yeah, like I feel like you're you have too much um like PTSD or something like. Every game is a new game, bro. Every player is a new player. Like, you're not you're not on a five five man team where your entire team is into you every single game. Like, every solo queue game is new. So okay. You can't bring in this like uh like these thoughts from previous games. It actually makes your gameplay worse, and it's gonna start building bad habits. So if you ever do climb the diamond, you're gonna like literally hard cap there, with with the way you're you're you're, you're thinking and playing. I mean, you might learn okay. new skills in that in, in your own like field in your own like way, but like still, it's gonna hard cap you at some point. Um. So, right. like, regardless of if these guys are killing these guys or not, right, I was just trying to prove a point that these guys are literally fucking 1v9, right, you would be here, they would be pressuring plates, and you would herald. It's the same thing. Right. No matter what, yep. you're getting something. So. Right. Okay? And then, and like like we said, like, if even if you had herald and you wanted to do this, you could still play top down and clear down, and it would be completely fine, right? It just gives you more options. Yep. We do get a kill, and then I ping for dragon here. I think that's what I do. Yeah, but. And then I think we. I also ping them back because Akali is just 
Like I I do like every single like this whole entire game I thought probably was just like I just avoid a collie. Like every single time she shows up I just leave, I just walk away. Yeah, this is fine. I mean I mean a collie is too strong. I mean you could try going for a steal, but it's yeah, but it's I don't fine have to just passive. it's fine to just yeah. jump. Yeah. So right here, like I, th I still I go for second rift because I think like, I I am looking like mid like on the mini map. Uh, but like my thought process is just like if Diana's bought, then they probably she probably can't make it on time. And then Orn and Akali shows mid, and I'm just like okay, well maybe like now maybe it's a bad decision. But like because like they spent so much time time diving Swain, and like they walk back to tower. Um, I do get the rift here for free. Wait, diving but Swain like. Or diving Diving, uh, diving swing here. So they they go for there's two dives, and one by one mid, and then. Okay, okay. So 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 look at this. So if you go top lane here, right? What's gonna happen to MF and Pike? Uh, they die. Okay, they die. They lose bot tier one. They lose a bunch of waves. They lose any advantage they had. E yes. And they're the but... only teammates you can play with. Right, but the I already cleared like bot side camps, and also. Like okay, so if when you're I in go the top, mid game, right? When you're in the mid game, your camps do not matter. Right. No, but it's like my thought process right now is just like I already I have no gold in a bot in the boss side. All I'm doing is like saving them. Whereas if I go top, I get 300 gold, and for myself, and maybe 300 more gold in the future, depending on like game situations and like tower gold and stuff. Like I might but, that but that rift might be a two. There will be no future if you don't have any teammates to play with. What future do you have in this game? If you're letting every so top lane lost by themselves, sure. Mid lane lost by themselves, sure. They're not playing too well. That's fine. There's still going to be some useful. They're not. They're not fucking FFing perma, right? You're balling into the only the only players who are keeping this game alive, right? They they have fucking like six KP or five KP in this game, right? They have all the kills. Okay. So anything in the top side, fuck that. I want to make sure my my bot lane, whatever MF and Pike are doing, they can do. If you ran to bot lane and you were here, right? So you're not here right now. You're here right now, and you ran. Yeah, they don't. They don't die. They don't die, and if Diana does do this, she's fucking dead. Yeah. Okay? And if she gets the rift because they're ahead, because they're a collie and on her head, you're breaking the bot turret. And that's a mm. fucking win. Okay. Like the the game state is just better. The game yeah. state is just better because the one teammate you want to play with is able to play the game. Yeah. But if you give him up. Then, then, then what? Now we're playing a game 1v5. Because, oh yeah, we're ahead. I'm ahead. Okay? But you have no team. And it's not like yeah. it's your fault that you have no team. You could make this game a 3v5, but you choose to 1v5. For what? Yeah, okay, that's fair. Um, right? Okay. Like, obviously, we're, 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 I'm not blind. I'm not an idiot. I know this guy's inting. I know this guy's inting. So don't play around them, for sure. That would mean even more to fucking go down bot and not play for the script there at all. Because that's in proximity of these two. And I don't want to be around those two. I want to be around okay. my best friend. Bot lane. Okay. So when you're in the mid game, you need to identify who your strong teammate is. If they exist. And make every play around them. In this right. game, if there is no one fed, then yeah. The only way you're going to win is do this. I agree. Right? If this guy like is like level eight or level seven and he has no items, then yeah, even if you came ball in here, it's gonna go bad. I think it, this just it. feels because I feel like I don't feel like even now, like thinking about it now, I feel like going rift here is still like slightly better because like even if they do lose like the tier two and they they both die, like I like me not going me getting the rift and cycling my camps is like five hundred gold, whereas like they like it's still like. It, like, I feel like the game state wouldn't be, like, so bad, you know? Like, I feel like... Do you want to do some math real quick, or what? So yeah. So, kills are 600 gold, right? So, the, both of their kills are 600 gold. Losing a turret, so that's 250 local gold, 250 gold, 50 gold for every single one individually, okay? They're losing about two waves, maybe even three waves, okay? So, that's another 200 gold, okay? So, these are waves, this is turrets, this is kills, okay? And the last thing is, this gold is going directly into this guy. So now MF is fucking down all this gold, right? A okay. lot of this, a lot of this gold is going directly into Ezreal, and the best part is tempo. Right now, if MF walks back to bot lane, she's gonna be stuck here, right? And if she ever walks past here, she's fucking dead. Yeah. So how do you play the game for the next fucking like? It doesn't matter if your game is good. Oh yeah, I won 500 gold right here. So what? Who are you playing the game with? 
Falling. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, well not anymore. Because you know, they're, they're right. No, much, but it so. just it just feels bad because it's just like that. I know that I'm I'm like I'm like foregoing 500 gold to stop like myself from hemorrhaging like six like like 1,000 gold. You know, like it's like well, I mean, you know? I hope I, in my math class that fat 400 gold like the difference is means a lot, and I would want fucking someone to play the game with. Right, because okay. it's not that you're just denying the thousand gold from them getting it. You're actually getting the thousand gold in your pockets. Why? Well, if Diana does this, she's fucking killing herself. Okay, and if Diana doesn't do that. You're getting the wave. You're getting the botser. You're diving these guys. Okay, and if nothing happens, the game is stable. Right, nothing happens. Okay, so no one's getting waves. No one's getting. No one's getting turrets. No one's doing anything. Then your fucking teammates are all scaling because they're eating waves. And okay. you and Diana are at a standstill because no one's doing camps. But that's fine. At least no one is fucking dying. If you yeah. can ever stop a play like this, that's good. That gives Swain and Renekton time to get their first item. And guess what? It doesn't matter if Orin has an item and a half, 1.5 items, right? If this guy has one item, he's still actually going to be useful. Same thing with Swain. If Swain has one item and Kali has two, at least he has something to, to provide. Right now, Swain is at like 0.5 item, and Kali is at yeah. like 1.5. This guy gets to that right. one, he's going to be useful. Okay. So whenever you're in a game behind, you can stop them from accelerating the game. It's good too. Okay. Most of the time, if, if you're just unable to stop this, like let's say you're already on the Rift Herald, then like, like, like she's on here, you're up there, then yeah, you obviously can't make it. It's not going to be possible right now. E even in this instance, you saw Diana from base, showing yep. like this. So that instantly triggers in my head. Okay, I'm going to make sure that this 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 guy can't kill me, right? And even if MF doesn't die and she runs all the way and Pike doesn't die. You guys lose the turret, you guys lose waves, okay? And guess what? The Akali and Orn are stopping you. Mm, you still okay. can't do this. Yeah, if, that's if fair. They, if, if, they, if the Orn is like, oh, I want to go back to top lane. Oh, what the fuck? There's a Belvat on my screen? Oh, oh, okay, he's dead. Akali's coming in, you're dead. Or we're going to get the rift ourselves. Or you're going to get the rift and you're going to die after. So it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. It's, so okay. it's not even just because there's the bot play is so much better. It's because you literally should not be allowed to do this rift. Yeah, that's true. Hopefully that makes sense. And this whole game, you're always telling me, like, yeah, but my camps, but, like, it's good for me. The game is a 5 a 5 game. Like, you, you need to play the, the game. Right. But, no, I mean, like, this whole game, I'm like, my, I feel like it's just, like, after, like, I looked mid and top too much, and I'm just, like, fully triggered, you know? It's just, like, I'm just, like, I, I, in my thought process, like, I'm just, like, it doesn't even matter, like, if bot lane is doing good, I feel like I have no teammates here. Because, like, if it, it feels like... They conditioned me to think like I I should just play for myself this game, but I yeah. Yeah, I mean that that's literally just on you. I mean, that's what a lot of junglers do, but that's that's like on you to control yourself emotionally. And like the only way you're actually gonna win this game is to play with your Pike who actually had a 300 gold bounty, and your MF who is also trying to win the game. Right. And it's okay. not like Swain and Renekton are running it down mid. They are just getting gapped right now. But maybe yeah. in later on team fights, they're still gonna fucking play the game. It's not like you guys are ult at four ing like like Yeah, Swain is actually really it's strong it's mental this game. Yeah, Swain's yeah. playing the whole game, so Yeah. It doesn't matter how, like you're actually probably the worst mental on the team right now. Which yeah. how fucked up is that? Like this guy's died four times and he's like still doing everything he can to try and win. Yeah, that's fair. And then and then so here we look at the tap screen again. Let's look at items. Look at this, bro. What the you're going on bot lane, man. You think you're yeah. going to lose 2v3 bot lane. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, yeah. This... Right, so why okay. why are we here? Oh, yeah, look at this guy. This is exactly what I said. 1.5, 0.5, 0.5, 1.5. Exactly what I said. So why are we ever fighting a topside fight? Yeah, that's fair. You guys being so strong. You always want to fight bot lane here. Okay. All right. And you can't, again, you need to stop writing people off as, as your teammates. Like, it's not like you're making the worst plays. With how you're giving me the game is like feeling, like, yeah, your plays are going, your plays make sense, but it's just, it just doesn't work, especially when you open your eyes and you're like, oh, I actually have teammates I can play with. Right, yeah. So. Get the riff. Uh, okay, now we have no one to play with. Fucking Sag. Um, yeah. Orn is killed. This is this is chill. Okay. Yeah, Mirren's coming. Rift's dying. I actually make it out here. That's a good champ. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, we see was, someone nice, yeah. okay. So now we're just full skirmishing. And like I feel like even though like I made a mistake of just like not playing with my bot lane, uh, there is still like now that you're walking around the map and doing stuff, I I do feel like very powerful. Like I have people to play around. Yeah. But you know, you would have a person to play around that was up a thousand gold versus now being like even out in gold. Yeah. So you'd be right, yeah. Gold. Yes. So this game is like fully winnable. Like no one's trying to, no one is trying to lose the game. Right, no one. Yeah. Connect is playing, explain is playing. Everyone's trying to win, right? And you have yeah. teammates to to play with, right? By not helping them like you did earlier, make it so you're weaker. You're you you're weaker in the actual team fight. So. Yep. Yeah. Here's the same thing. Why are we top side? We have sec. We're so strong in this game. Actually. Okay. Right. 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 No. No. So now. So right now, I'm thinking like the. I feel like I'm, in my head, I feel like a like a a collie showing up to team fight. Still, we still lose. So right now I'm thinking I still have the the rift passive. If I stay topside while my whole team like in spot side, I can get 550 gold. That's yeah, like it, again, it makes sense what you're thinking, but bro, I hope to freaking any like I hope so. I hope so. I hope you guys can at least like take a fight and and try to win because if you can't, then you're getting third third dragon. That means like okay, so let me ask. Okay, actually, this is a better question. When do you win? Like when? Does the 500 gold change? I don't no. Right now, I feel like in my head, in my head, this game, I the whole game, I like while I'm in the game, I'm just mentally blue because I'm just like I feel like a Kali is just gonna get one good playoff and we just lose the game. But like the only reason why I don't lose this game is because like a Kali doesn't run straight like sprint it like from like this moment she walks out of lane and Kali just full sprints it down. Like you can like look like later. That, that's that's a hundred percent what every single person is going to do when they're this fed and they think the game is wrapped. Okay. Like, you've thrown games where you're up 10,000 gold. No, you have like 10, 20 kills. You just, you just feel like the man. You go in, you die when we five. You're like, oh fuck, where's my team? That's exactly what this call is doing too. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, you've so played like... those games. You've been that person. Your teammates have been that person. Now, yeah. Now you've really played a game where you see a call do that. Sure. Not only the fact that a call inted and made mistakes in this game. Look at your damn items. You guys are going to one shot at anyone that any CC on this colony is one shot. You're going to kill this guy through a shroud with your E. Your MF is going to pelt it with her ultimates. Okay? I hope you guys can 5v5 and at least try to win the game. Because when does okay. the game get better? Right now, you have a full item on both of your counterparts. I th maybe Diana gets your item. She's cast kills and some farm. But right now, Ezreal is so far behind. He's never hitting his mana immune. I don't even know if Caitlyn has your item. When else would you win? You're, when, when, not when fucking a colleague gets Ravidons, that's for sure. Right now, this guy's strength and this guy's strength is relatively even. Right? If I were to label it 1 to 10 and a colleague's at a 10, Swain's at like an 8.5. Right? Okay. The moment, the moment a colleague hits Ravidons, now a colleague's at a 10 and Swain's at like a 6.5. So you're, you're, you're just going down here. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Right, but then, but then when Swain gets his second item and a colleague's on her second half item, now a colleague's at a 10 and Swain's back at an 8. Right? So right now, yeah. there's no item completion, it's great. And now, look, if you're at a 10, this guy's at an 8 with the items she has. Maybe not even an 8, maybe, maybe I, these weak items are so weak, she's at like a 7. Same thing here, you're at a 10, this guy's, this guy's at like a fucking 5, in terms of like strength. If we were to write okay. this out, right? Like, this is your time to fight. And Orn is pretty tanky, but, um... I'm sure you guys can still work. Okay. Uh, so I do go top, but like I, I do recall because I realize like Akali is trolling, like like you like you said. But uh, yeah, we can we can just we can just watch. So right here, I see like a like they just like as I started recalling as soon as I saw like a uh, like a Kali kind of like like walk up. Like as soon as I saw this, I was like, okay, this is probably fine. I'm gonna probably do something. The Kali runs it, like, and then. Just... Like... If you were here this entire time for this entire fight, which I, which you should be to not only be with your fed teammates, right, but to be with Pike so you guys can get any vision control, and if, if like, come on, you're, you're contesting vision Yeah, I, 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 I realized, like, even, I, like, even, uh, in the game, I realized, like, being topside there in that bush was a mistake, because I just, yeah. But, but okay. not because of, of whatever going on topside. If Pike is topside, you should be topside. If MMA yeah. is topside, you should be topside. You're not with your yeah. team. Right? Yeah. And plus, if you guys are getting vision with Pike, you and Pike together, if Kaylin ever walks up for vision, she just, she just dies. Yeah. If Ezra walks up in mid lane at all, you're queuing onto him 19 times and you're killing him. If the yeah. man is walking for vision, they also die. You're at yeah, two items. You're one shotting. Yeah, vision. they're. Look at yeah, their whole Pike game. Is playing right now. He's just, he has to be terrified. Right? Because we're yeah. in my jungler. He's fucking, I don't know, doing fuck all topside. You're gonna kill yeah. him when he pushes? Really? Like, it, 
I mean, maybe, but it's gonna take 20 years, and like, plus this one never has to do this. I mean, that's what yeah. you're looking for in this top lane here, you're looking to fight this orb, but again, that's 1v1. Never take a 1v1. You take even like a 3v3 mid lane, these are better odds than 1v1 top lane, even if you, even if you think you win this, this top lane fight. Right. Okay. Yeah, so recall. Yeah, recall. I mean, you should be here this entire time for this spot fight. Really fucking blows. Yep. Okay. Get it, push it off the dragon, sure. No, I, I, we missed a smite fight, and then I do kill her, though. But right right here, like, even though, like, it's kind of bad, I, I think we just win the game off of this, because we push yeah. mid, and then we get yeah. Baron. So, so, so here, so, so, so here, what I'm looking at is not just Diana, I'm looking at the bot fight. Because what, right. what I'm looking at is, like, okay, let's say Diana's stuck staying on this, and it's a 4v4 right yeah. here. Uh, Kate, Caitlyn also died just now. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is you need to watch this. Okay. Because if your layers I, are still low HP... These guys can still 2v3 and win this fight. I feel, I feel like... The reason why I didn't look was because like, it feels like there's no way that like Ezreal, Ezreal with down down one item and Orn, and tank Orn is going to like turn a team fight against like the those two champions. Like, even with no ultimates or anything, like they still should be able to win that. So I'm just thinking, just, like we just killed just that. Just look, though. Okay. It doesn't hurt to look. Okay. It, it, you're All looking right. great here. It's great. You see the HPs, you know. Even here, just see what they're doing as well, because what you could be doing this whole time, you are you are kind of doing it right here. But the whole time, if you you know cap it on things, you could also ping people to come to you. If they don't need someone to go fight for here, what I'm saying is you just unlock more information in the game, and you can have your teammates do more as well. But always mm, look. Okay. You can't just write things off and assume that hey, this will go well, because when the things go wrong, well, now what, right? Good. This is why I get the kill. The game is fucking wrapped. Yeah, I miss every smite fight because I ping on that and play on ninety five ping, but you know. Let's chill. Yeah. Oh yeah. So 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 look so look so so we get mid turret great. We get the top wave great. Free call. Why spend one point four k gold? Like why why would you not spend one point four k gold here? But I could get another extra five hundred gold if they, if they allow me. How are you, you know? getting it? Are they, are they AFK? I mean, they're, they they showed bot lane, right? Like like if you keep, you keep on, like they show they show mid, they're go like Akali is looks like she's walking bot and she goes back to catch the wave. Okay, but like down, if if, if, K if Caitlyn comes here, if the support comes here, can you back this turret? No. So if anyone shows that, but the support, but she but she might but she might go bot. I don't know. Like it's it's solo queue, you know. Like I it, it's like it's right, kind of right, like right right okay. So it's solo queue and they can make mistakes. So why not capitalize on them being stupid and going bot lane by resetting and playing for the Baron? But I, it's like I feel like this is like one of those things where it's just like the 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 lot. It's not even like you. I don't even have to pay for the lottery ticket. The lottery ticket is free, and like I could win like the lottery right now if but that the, makes sense. Five hundred gold is not the lottery. The lottery is Baron in any of the damn game. That's the lottery. You're paying a huge fee, you don't even see it. Okay. The, the fee is called tempo. The, the, I'm the tempo police right now. And your tempo is dog shit. Look at you on the map, I'm look at you on the map right now. Now you have 2,000 gold, if you were ever to fight this Baron, you're down, you're down 1.4k gold worth of strength. Okay, yeah, it's... It's not good, if you're fighting a Baron, ever. Okay, that's fair. Right, and, and let's say, let's say, let's say right here you clear this wave and you recall, like you're supposed to, so clear this wave is fine, Right? Yeah. Now your tempo is matched on your entire team. You're gonna go get red buff. You're gonna go get raptors. You're getting stronger that way. Okay, you're gonna set up Baron. That wins the games. Okay. Not this tier two top turret for the okay. 500 gold. You're too blinded by this like 500 gold kind of thing. This you know this these these few plates you can get by yourself. You're playing 1v5 right now on the map, right? Because everyone's recalled. I don't care what the position is. I'm you're literally playing 1v5 on the map right now. Everyone's recalled. It's a team game, my friend. You're not you're not playing the game by low. But if there's five teammates here, four teammates here, sorry, then yeah, fucking take this. But what's your with me? Okay. It's not like you're okay. making terrible decisions. It's just every single decision you make, you're literally fighting by yourself. You're literally doing it yeah. by yourself, and you're fucking your tempo up beyond belief. Okay. Right, because That's now fine. if you ever want to play for Baron, you're delayed with your teammates. So now if Pike wants to go get vision by himself over here, right? Let's say Kaelin shows up here. Right? Now Pike can't kill him. If you're here with Pike, as you guys go get vision, the Caitlyn's dead, I... that's free Baron. Okay? Yep. If you ever wanted, if Pike ever wanted to get vision line up here so he can actually do the Baron, well, he fucking can't, because guess what, my Belva's in damn base right now. My, my Belva's doing Bromp Wolves and in base. 
when we're fully winning in this game, right, the, the gold looks, or the kills are even, but you're up a lot of gold this game, because, you know, you guys have break-in turrets, you guys have gods and kills, you guys ace them, you've got the shutdowns, you guys are up, or at least even in gold, whoever has control of the river, whoever has control of the objective, will win the fight. And you pretty much okay. remove yourself from the game time and time again by doing stuff like this. Right, because now look! Yeah. Oh my god, guess, guess who's killing themselves yeah. right here? Oh, oh it's yeah. Diana, right? I should die here, for sure. Instead, it's your, your Swain getting engaged on her, and like, feeling pressured as if he's gonna lose this fight. Right? So yeah, now we... you are fighting this fight, it's going good. You're sitting on 2,000 gold. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah. Which, obviously, the fight started off beautifully, Diana's inting. If this fight yeah. is great, and you're sitting on 2,000 gold, why would you ever want to sit? Like, why would you ever want to stay on two thousand gold? Did these yeah, two like... camps change your game whatsoever? No. Not, not at all. Right. Yeah. You being in this fight is probably gonna look good because of how it started, but you being up two thousand gold here will have a huge impact if, like, you're playing a normal game where they have a normal support and then Diana is not, you know, doing some really bad things. Yeah. Okay. We just and get plus the Ezreal's not even playing the game. Like, their the, the Ezreal's more tilted than um, literally everyone on your team. So. Alright, the Baron and then the game should be pretty closed out soon enough. Yeah. Again, uh, I yourself. think... After, after, you, after you look for this guy, it's fine. Nice to have you. Yeah. You, you messed this up pretty hard, it's okay. Yeah. This guy's for sure dead if you just... If you just walk just up. Eed right here, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's I I don't know how to do tower dives actually. It's just uh I'm I'm not sure like when it's okay to just like tank like 12, 20 tower shots like what the actual point in the game is. Um, but like like we've hit that threshold and I didn't even notice basically. Yeah, it's it was... fine though because the moment the moment you 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 win here, guess where your teammates are again. Uh. Not bot lane, that's for sure. Yeah. So why are we doing this? Uh. If you're with your Swain here, one Swain's trying to walk up and break this turret, and Swain like potentially lands these abilities on her. So, like this whole time, if you're with Swain, right, and you fight on the scaling right here, this guy's just dead. You could be walking over the wall right here, right as well, and as Caitlyn's trying to cross over, you kill this guy, she's just fucking just gone. The point is again not to say like the specifics of this game; it's just to always play with your team. <laughs> right. Okay. Fighting, there was not much fighting. If you're, you're with fighting, is fine. Okay. But, I mean, here it's like, I, if I go there, we lose, like, one lane of, like, Baron empowered minions, right? So, yeah, but you're gonna get the better next wave. Here. And by the next wave, your teammates can actually come with you. This guy's gonna come, and this guy's gonna, this guy's gonna come after from mid to, to bot lane. Mm, okay. Right, but it's just, it's just the principle of trying to be with your team. And you're literally spending all your time avoiding your team. That's gonna get into our first talking one, which is it's a team game. Please connect. Like, please, like for your sake, you will climb. Okay. okay. You're not a bad player without with how, with how in the game. You just are so set on not playing with your teammates, like it, it, it's just making the game worse. Okay. Especially people who are winning. Okay. Two. When you have item spikes, you fight. Do not farm. Do not ruin tempo. You fight. Okay. You also your fighting is. It's not bad. Your fighting is pretty. It's, it's completely chill. You fight, okay? And you might think the fighting is not going well. You fight, not just for kills, not just for kills, not just for kills, for objectives, okay? Objectives that being turrets included, that being waves included, that being that is also terrain control, okay? So if so if, <laughs> if if you were looking at that game earlier and, and you know I told you to recall here and you just walk into the enemy bot side jungle, drop the pink ward here, sat here, that. Vision setup is so powerful in the game that itself is an objective. Compared to right. these two, two, two camps, it's actually still worth it because your MF yep. will be able to crack the turret, you'll be able to dive them, you'll be able to play as proactively as possible. And the last thing is, no, do not st stop um, assuming slash um, stop stop assuming things. Just confirm them. Confirm them. Okay. Use your use your map and info gathering skills. To confirm every piece of info. Right? Don't be lazy with it. You you're not bad at gathering info. You just seem to always assume what's right in the moment is, is right forever. But you're telling me it's solo queue, so you should know 
you might see your your your, your mid laner up full HP to half HP enemy mid laner, and in the next five seconds, somehow your mid laner is lower HP than enemy mid laner. Right? That's very possible. The, if the enemy mid laner out, out outplays, hundred percent possible. But you need to let, you need to look, you need to confirm. So at all points, don't assume and just confirm. It's not that hard. You have perfectly fine information gathering skills. You can do it. Okay. But the most important thing, if it is a team game, you never want to play one-on-one. -on -one. Never do things by yourself. Right? Especially when your teammates are ahead. The only time you want to do things completely by yourself is when no one's ahead. But even then, when your teammates are even or have first item, you still want to make a play. You still want to play the League of Legends game. You still want to interact with your teammates. It's very, very important. Okay. And the last like mini mental thing is like you have PTSD from Sword and do your best to like <clears throat> to to kind of I don't know I don't know how to like I don't know, like you probably have the worst out of every single person I've coached but like your teammates are not that bad okay like it's not that okay bad. you need you need to find you need to find a way to emo control yourself emotionally and not let it get to you so much because this game could have easily been you snapping your teammates you trying to FF you not trying to play. And it could have gone a lot worse. Luckily, your teammates all wanted to play and weren't. I so, I I never do that. Uh, <laughs> I just I just I yeah. But it's it's I do I do like let, notice like it does it like affect my decision making a lot. Um, Whenever you get emotional, it affects anyone. So. Yeah. yeah.